1850s with the railroad. And before that, they were very rare. And after that, they were still pretty rare until Sears and, Sears and Montgomery Ward and Sears and Monkey Ward, Sears and Roebuck. And they all came out with catalogs. And you could order all these wondrous things. And guitar was one of the wondrous things that you could order. The, uh, the original way to play the guitar was finger style. Uh, they played with their thumb and two fingers. And uh, over the years, that kind of got uh, transformed into a lot of different styles. You've got flat picking, you've got the, the Carter family thing, and that's, that's what I'm going to talk about. Uh, Maybell Carter, I said this yesterday on stage, she was probably the most influential guitar player of the 20th century. And she did what they call a Carter scratch. And do you lead with your thumb? <laughs> strum with your finger. I grew up hearing that sound. Everybody around knew how to do that. Everybody. And one of the first teaching jobs that I had to teach guitar, they hired me to teach the Carter Scratch. That thing. And I had a great uncle that was a fantastic guitar player. I mean, he was really good. He was a fingerstyle player. And I said, Uncle Harv, I got a job teaching. I'm going to teach guitar to people. He said, well, that's good. So what are you going to teach them? I said the Carter Scratch, and he said, well, Lord have mercy, everybody can do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Let's try this in D. Maybe I would tune the guitar real low, um, so it gave it that real, a real thumpy sound. This is probably the most famous song for her, Keep on the Sunny Side. <laughs> There's a dark and a troubled side of life. There's a bright and happy side too. Though we meet each day with much strife, the sunny side we also may view. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. It will help the Mississippi John Hurt, and Doc really liked her too. Did you ever hear him talk about it, David? Yes. Yeah. He was a, an older black fella, he was a blues player, and, and he was fantastic. And he would do this little lick like a that type of lick. So I, I kind of adopted a lot of that stuff into my playing. And he, uh, there was a banjo player in the 1920s named Charlie Poole. Charlie Poole liked to take a drink every now and then, about every 15 minutes or so. And it finally killed him. And he recorded a song called Goodbye Booze. And it works well with that style, so I've kind of combined them. So this is Goodbye Booze. And then he, he, I mean, <laughs> Flies back. <laughs> Couldn't agree. 
what the blues has done to me. Just see what the 